Now, Governor Lombardo, that's how it's done. Love it. Nevada, how about that? We got Matt Gates, Joe Lombardo, Lieutenant Anthony, start, or Lieutenant Governor, start with Anthony. Full affair. The governor mentioned earlier, and so did Lieutenant Governor, we have some great people in, the, in this house, and I want you to recognize them. We have the mayor and, and city council of Henderson. Could they please stand up? Let's give them a round of applause. So proud of them, and they fight for us. We also have our, some of our legislators here, our strong women legislators, as a matter of fact. The same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please stand up? Give them a round of applause, too. And how about our candidates for Assembly and Senate, rock star candidates that are out knocking doors every day in the heat with so many of you that are volunteers. Give them a round of applause. We've come together so many times. President Trump loves this state, I tell you time and time again. We've seen how he fights for us, and you have answered the call, but we are not done yet. You came in, and where we're sitting right now is fantastic. Historic levels of voting for the Republican Party. But it's not over yet. You have to get out there, and you have to plant that flag so there's never a question of what happens in Nevada ever again. You know, I had the privilege, uh, I'm a Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer as well. I had to work for those two guys. So give me pity. I made Starvo. Starvo, when we started work together, he was my supervisor. He had a full head of hair. Looked great. Look what I did to him. Our governor was a rock star model. Now his hair's gray. But more importantly, that is strong leadership that stepped up and took the patent, the mantle that they said, look, I've done my service with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I want to return and go even further, that we take back this state and make it secure and safe for every one of them. And that's, what, that's the kind of commitment we have in our state, in our leadership. The comments, they've been bad. We have a candidate for President of the United States has put us down time and time again but talked personally about each and every one of us, not on policy. Because when we, she flipped over and said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, we said, great, just run on policy. Here's her record, liberal, deciding vote to put taxes on tips, deciding vote to put more IRS agents on the people that are all working for, for tips in this state. Look it up, she's the deciding vote that did it. Then she came back and started calling us names even more. The way she addresses Donald Trump, well, he's President Donald Trump to you, lady. She cannot stand on her record against that. Her record's abysmal. So she has to do this whole act when she put her in front of a camera. Ask her a tough question. Even the liberal media asks her tough questions. Here's her response. <laughs> I, I, I used to work for a living. I worked at McDonald's. I worked, worked. That's your response? Many of us in this room right now can't afford gas. We can't afford food. We can't afford to take care of our family. And she's laughing at us. She has laughed in the spit in the, in the Democrat Party's face. You're going to follow that? That's your candidate? Are you kidding me? You've been hoodwinked. You can't afford it just like we can't afford it. Defining moment yesterday. The sitting president, two days ago, the sitting president called us garbage. Sam, Sam Brown brought it up. Called us garbage. A sitting president. Let that resonate. Because this is one thing I can tell you. Yesterday was trash day. In Nevada, for many of us in our neighborhood, the greatest thing I had rolling down my street. We had members of the Republic Services, our trash men, came by and got Donald J. Trump hats, make America great. They're just like us. They can't afford to eat. Those are Teamster members. 
Those are union members. They're in the same boat we're all in. We're not about dividing. We're about uniting. That's what Donald Trump has done. He's reached across the aisle, and he says, let's get together. Let's fix this. And you have Republican leaders and Democrat leaders coming together to try and fix this. That's leadership. Sam Brown mentioned it. It's tough to be the last speaker. Every takes your lines. Sam Brown mentioned this. Many of us, many of these men in here, we're, we're mama's boys. And I don't have a problem saying I'm a mama's boy. Because we love our women. We love our strong women. And for Mark Cuban to sit and take shots at us as he flies around in his private jet, this is the kind of stupid fool this guy is. He talks about Donald Trump doesn't surround himself with strong women. You know who his partner in the Mavericks are? Adelson, Mrs. Adelson, who's a big supporter of Donald Trump. So he might want to check himself on that, and I'm pretty sure his partner's going to take a little to, many of them know Mrs. Adelson, she's going to take him to the woodshed. Because that boy's a fool. You know, he's lucky he's rich, because he's dumb as shit when it comes to talking to everybody else. We have strong leadership in the Republican Party, inside the Nevada Republican Party. We've always had it. We've had our executive staff has been females. If you look at the legislature, our, our legislators is led by Republican women. We don't fear that. We're strong men that back strong women. If you look at the people that are backing, the men that are backing Kamala Harris, they're beta males. People that back Donald J. Trump, the men that back our women, we're alpha males. But like I said, we have to cast that vote. <laughs> oh, I'll bring that up. I'm glad you mentioned him. I'm going to extend my time just a little bit. So we have one thing. How many of you watched, uh, this is for you, Kevin, jazz hands? You guys look at jazz hands? Is it me or does Wallace look like he is a next contestant on The Price is Right and he comes running down the aisle? He comes on stage looking like it's the clown act running out for Circus Circus. That's who we want leading? Could you imagine they go into dispute with Russia? They go into dispute with another country, North Korea. Hell, with this type of leadership, I would attack myself from Nevada. It goes on how you lead. This is a guy who said he was a football coach. He didn't know what a pick six was. I think he wasn't a coach. I think he was the equipment manager. For tampons, exactly. Now, we've had fun up here today. And you've had great leaders of our state and our nation speak to you today. But the message cannot go further. Captain Sam Brown, please come out here. I've been on the campaign train with this man. I can tell you, his leadership has been fantastic. We've knocked doors, we've been to barbecues, rodeos, we've been up and down this state. And the most important message he shows, he is for the working men and women. He is for the working class that has the opportunity. He will lead this state into another dimension where we have all of the stuff that works for us working men and women. We don't have that now. We have words, no actions. This man, a war hero, is about actions, not words. On your feet, show him some respect. Let's give him what he deserves.
you have to get out and vote. Stand shoulder to shoulder with everybody that was up on this stage. Stand shoulder to shoulder and put this man in office. And I guarantee Donald J. Trump and this man in the Senate will never see ever Nevada on its knees. We will make sure that we rule this state. We rule this nation and we're the leaders. We're not the caboose. Give him a round of applause. Sam, say something else, man. Nevada, you fire me up. Some of you have heard this before. The greatest lesson I ever learned in my life happened on the battlefield of Afghanistan. When I was burning to death, and I came to this place where very quickly I thought that my own life couldn't be saved. I gave up the will to live. But it was the words of one of my soldiers that pulled me back in. You guys know what it is. I've got you. Nevada, I've got you. Let's do this.